from Brian. This next skill we're gonna do is a skill you'll use on almost every instance of having to back up or back into a lot at an RV park. It's 90 degree backing, lots of uses. There's lots of ways to do it. The right way and the wrong way, which takes a whole lot more maneuvering and a whole lot more time. And this is where all your neighbors come out with a lawn chair and a cold beer and wanna watch you do it. You are the entertainment. So I'm gonna recommend one way to do it using reference points, which you look at every single time and it goes off like clockwork versus guessing, hey, it looks about right about there, okay? So we're gonna start off with the coach approaching the lot. You're gonna transition from the right side of the road to the wrong side of the road, putting your coach about six inches to 12 inches off the edge of the road on this side. You're gonna pull forward as a driver until you're right about in the middle of the lot that you've been selected for, stopping here to assess the good points and the bad points. Are there trees? Where's the power? Where's the fire pit? Where's the picnic table? Is this a lot we like? Yes, it is. We'll go with it. At that point, Heather's going to step out of the coach and position herself about right over there along the side of the lot so she can see your driver's side mirror and the back of the coach. Your position is going to be moving as you're backing in. Okay. After she's out and positioned, you're going to slowly head forward past the edge of the lot and you're going to stop when your second bay door hinge arrives right at the edge here. Second crease of the bay door. Okay, at that point, stop, turn your wheel all the way to the right to wheel cut, and slowly creep forward. As your coach is going forward, you're watching the left flat mirror. And when the side of the coach aligns with the edge of the lot you're pulling into, you stop. You'll straighten your wheels out, and you're going to back straight up until your radiator, the middle of your radiator, is right along the edge of that of a lot. Okay, it's going to be right here. Here's the radiator. Here's the lot. At that point, the last maneuver. You're going to cut the wheel hard to the left, sitting still. You're going to hold it, and you're going to slowly back up, and the coach is going to swing and end up somewhere in the middle of the lot. And I want you to back it all the way up to the back of the lot and hold. At that point, you pause. Let's figure out how much more we want to move to the left or the right. That can be a group decision or it can be Heather's decision. And then finally do the last tweaking and moving it forward and moving it back into the area you want. End of skill. Any questions? No. Nope. Okay. And I always suggest you make that pause so the neighbors go away and you can do your final adjustment on your own. Let's get started. Keep going, a little farther. All right, from right there, you stop, take a good vantage point, inspect the whole lot, looks good. Have Heather go ahead and hop out before and take her position. Okay, I'm gonna step over and guide you here to your reference point. Just pull ahead and stay close to me, really close. Really close, really close, chew me up. Okay, you're at the wheel. Door one, keep going, keep going two feet, and stop. Okay, your reference point is right here. Do a hard right, ease it forward. Ease it forward, ease it forward, ease it forward. Keep going. Keep going, keep going. Look down your left flat mirror. Left flat mirror. One more, one more, and stop. Now straighten the wheels out. Bring it back about four feet. And stop. Okay, now you're gonna do your hard cut to the left. And you're watching his driver's mirror. Okay. You begin to straighten the wheel out. You need to go all the way to the back of the lot, then stop. 
It looks good. Excellent. Get ready on the right. Ready to the left. All right, you're tweaking it. Go over to the right and back straight up. And shut down. Well, Heather and Brian, how'd you feel that went? Okay. I know you've done this a million times. Did you find that technique with the reference points was easier than the way you do it now or harder? I think it's easier because you have set reference points and you can be consistent about using those same points every time. And what's the one thing that I forgot to tell you to do that time that would be very helpful for other motorists around you when you're doing it? Your hazards. Yep, hazard lights. Now granted, your backup beeper was on, your reverse lights were on, uh, but yeah, I should have said turn your hazard lights on whenever you're going backward because you are a hazard at that point. One tip I was gonna make is when you're backing up, let's say you don't feel you have enough room to get the whole RV in the lot, is you can always back up and put the back end of the RV over the grass as long as the jacks hit the concrete. So, but you kept the whole, used the whole lot and that was fine. But uh, hope it works out for in your future travels and let's move on to the next skill. Okay.